especially, Leah was celebrating her birthday. And we sang happy birthday to her a little while ago. Now, I don't think, I don't think you've ever had, a, look, never had a, a hat like this before. I have some uh, some the Empress Diner here, and they're big sponsors of this pet walk. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. How are you today? All right. And uh, what are you giving out today? Today we're giving out water bottles for the people and some water for the doggies too. Well, it turned out to be a very beautiful day, and uh, we're happy for your sponsorship. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Thank you. Mr. Juggles, what are you making right now? It's a pink panther hat for this young lady. She said, I want a hat. And I said, do you know pink panther? She said, what? So now you'll know about pink panther. And she's smiling. See, she's smiling for the camera. And we're here, and we're here because of the Empress Diner. Here we are. Welcome, welcome. Are you enjoying the pet fair? Yeah. Great. Hi, I have I have Camp Bow Wow. I have Rosie and Shana. How do you do? Good. Could you tell us something, uh, Camp Bow Wow? What do you, what do uh, parents of their pets do uh, bring when they bring them to Camp Bow Wow? With Camp Bow Wow, we do daycare and overnight boarding. So you would bring your dog in, bring their favorite blanket or toy, and they're going to play for nine and a half hours a day while they're with us. So could this be, let's say, uh, one day or, let's say, during the week when they go to work, the parents go to work, if you will, yes. and uh, people go on vacation? Yeah, we do. Some dogs come every day, just like a daycare for kids. They'll come in, have their lunch and dinner with us, and at the end of the night, they go home. Okay, now if anyone brings their pets, uh, whether it is for a day or a week or a vacation time is there anything personal that the uh, owner should uh, bring you know take take along I mean is it food a pet toy you know a favorite toy that they like yeah, it's good to send maybe an old t-shirt from home one of the owners shirts food it's good to send their food in case they have allergies or they might not like it but we can provide a house food for them if they want okay so if someone is interested in uh, bringing their pet to Camp Bow Wow. Is there a number, a phone number, or an email address, a website that they can get uh, contact with? A website. You could go to either, I'm from Elmwood Park, and Shana is from Midland Park, so you could just Google Camp Bow Wow Elmwood Park or Camp Bow Wow Midland Park, and you'll get right to our website. All right, great. Thank you very much, and I know you've had a lot of people I've been watching uh, stopping by and uh, asking for information. Yes. Yeah, it was a good day. We saw a lot of dogs. We had a good day. So bring your dogs by. First day is free. There's no charge, no obligation. So come try us out. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. You too. Okay, we had to do this okay. over because there was some problem with the camera. And I, I want a proper pronunciation again, I'm sorry. Okay, Lisak. Lisak. Okay. You're the doctor. You were the doctor. You did a really great job. Yeah. Okay? Now he needs a go Someday. Yeah.
good. Yeah. Do a retake. Great. Okay, okay, no problem. Hey, I have Dr. J over here Hello. from LISAC. LISAC Family Dentistry. We're right down the block, across from the shop right, right here on River Road, where we're a family practice. We see adults as well as children, and we're here to support the pets and have a good time. I see you have a full table over here. What are you doing as yes. uh, people are passing by? Yes, we're, we're, we're educating people about oral health and the importance also with the pets. You want to make sure they're taking care of their mouths as well and they're not using adult regular toothpaste because that could harm them and they should be using regular doggy uh, animal toothbrushes designed for for the pets so we do but we do have some treats for them and just having a good time and I see you have a dinosaur here yes, we what have is a crocodile for the theme the animal theme with the big teeth and and the kids seem to love to come up and brush their teeth and we you know we we have them we have a little game for them to throw a little 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 bean, bag. bean bags into the hole and they win a little little prize we have, and then they can little animal masks that they can put on and take pictures so i you know, i think that's great you're putting in a little education and a little exactly. fun at the same time exactly exactly so again we we treat adults as well as kids um, and we're, we, we support the pets and make sure that everyone's taking care of themselves. Everyone is healthy. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So. All right, yeah, well, thank you very much. Time. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Great. Great All time right. at uh, the Fallon Pet day. Walk. Beautiful day. It's great. Thank you. Got the sound. I have Bergen County Protect and Rescue. How do you do? Hi, nice to meet you. Can you tell us something about uh, Bergen County, you know, the pet and rescue uh, that you have? It's a shelter. We're located in Cliffside Park, and this is Summer. She's available for adoption, and she's about two or three years old, and she's very friendly. And there are different breeds of dogs that you uh, have in the shelter? We have dogs and we have cats. And... Um, is this uh, something that, I mean, 24 hours? Is it a uh, phone number? Come over here. I have one of the members. Broken County Protect and Rescue, 302 Second Street, Cliffside Park. We're a no-kill animal shelter. We keep those animals until they get adopted. And uh, they could be from a, you know, I mean, a newborn. I mean, anyone that uh, unfortunately every is. Every breed, every shape, size color, um, we have puppies, we have older dogs. Uh, anyone that is uh, unfortunately not able to uh, care for uh, their pets, so you uh, take them into the shelter as well? Strays, we'll get the surrenders, and we try to rehabilitate them. We show them a lot of love. We spend a lot of time with them. Our dogs are happy because we do spend a lot of time with them, so it's a great place to adopt. You're going to get a happy dog, and we'll, we know them so well, we're going to tell you all about their temperament. Uh, do you have, let's say, donation if people are interested in uh, donating maybe food or care? You know, we're always taking monetary donations, but we also always need um, food. We use pedigree, and anyone has sheets or towels, we go through that a lot. Um, pedigree can and pedigree dry, friskies for the cats, and yeah, just, um, oh, check out our website bcrescues.org Okay, bcrescue.org rescues.org mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, I have Rick and Dana from the Columbia Bank. How do you do this afternoon? Doing well. How's it going? Great event today. The pet walk, yes. And uh, what are you, your uh, representation? We're here from Columbia Bank. It's, uh, we're a community bank in uh, Fairland. We're headquartered. 
And we're uh, giving out um, some, uh, some items, items for the dog for walk. The, for the pens, yes, pens, food bags. <laughs> of course, we have a variety of products. Well, these are very important. So. Absolutely. In addition to that, we have a variety of products that Columbia Bank that is, uh, l loves the community and is strongly present here at Fernlawn. The, the lines of credit, how many lines of credit right now? Uh, it's at uh, 1.95. And that's a stronger promotion that we have at the moment, including the yield, which you get interest rate on a checking account. The highest are one percent. Uh, where are your locations here in Fairlawn? Well, my office is in River Road, uh, and then we have uh, Radburn. We have six, uh, six branches in Fairlawn, including our headquarters on Route 208, Saddle River Road, Moore Lot, Radburn, River Road, Broadway, and of course our corporate headquarters. So if anyone is interested, they can uh, stop in and uh, get a, you know, kind of consultation? Absolutely. They can stop in and get a consultation. Uh, again, my name is Dana, the manager at the River Road. Welcome to come at any time. Our, we are open from 8 to 4, and on Fridays, all the way to 7 p.m., and Saturdays and Sundays, from 2 o'clock. Well, on the weekend, it's very convenient because so many people are not able to do to work, uh, you know, priorities. That is true, but we're here for you. And we want you to come along. By all means, you're more than welcome to come and join us. All right, well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure, and I know everybody is uh, appreciative and stopping by. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I have Pony Power uh, Therapies. Could you tell us what it's all about? Because it looks very interesting. We are a therapeutic horseback riding center located in Mawa, New Jersey. Um, we work with children and adults with special needs, and we have riding for them, and we also have a ground program where they can learn life skills through the horses. Uh, do you do this during the week? Is it something on the weekend? We run during the week. We have school groups that come in the morning and pri private clients in the afternoon, and then we also run on Sundays. Okay, if anyone is interested, do you have a phone number, or can they go on a website? We, we do have our website. It's ponypowernj.org, and you can also reach us at 201-934-1001. And uh, I know that it's uh, for Pony Power, but do you have different, uh, I, I presume I'm not sounding funny, but different size horses uh, or for different means? Some are a little more sort of uh, docile, you know, where uh, you have some of the young children um, that uh, can't take anything that's too much going on. Yeah, we have horses of all different sizes and ages, and um, they've all been kind of vetted out to make sure that they have the right personality and are very calm for all of our clients, but we do have different sizes to meet the needs of each of our clients. Okay, and uh, I know you set up you're up in Mawa, am I correct? Yes. Okay, and anyone that's interested, I mean, uh, do you take if there any, someone from New York that wants to inquire about, um, you know, uh, your organization? As long as they're willing to drive to us, we're more than willing to take them. And we're also always looking for volunteers, and that's also found on our website. That's very good. That's very good. Thank you. It's a pleasure to speak to you. Yeah. It's nice to meet you, too. Hi, I have Carol from Dance Design Studio. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I see that you have a, a display, and uh, did you have a demonstration today? Yes, we did. We had a demonstration of our ballet class, one of our intermediate ballet classes. They, they were dancing um, about two hours ago. Uh, is it different age groups that you, uh, that, you know, that if anyone is interested in signing up? I mean, uh, I know some uh, school age children uh, and you have adults as well. We teach children between the ages of two and a half and 65 years old. <laughs> You're never too young or never too old to dance. That's great. Um, and do you do uh, performances, uh, you know, competitions, I should say? Well, we're not a competition-geared studio, but we do have many of our students on Broadway presently. Uh, one of our students, uh, past students, just uh, made uh, the lead of Beautiful. And I also have had children in Beauty and the Beast, um, State Fair. One of our students was also the voice of Backpack, from Dora the Explorer, and um, very proud of everyone. Turned out some really great students. I know that you've been in Fairlawn quite a number of years. Yes, um, we've been a, a staple in Fairlawn for the past 35 years. 
Okay. I think that's uh, that's a plus, and people see how uh, positive and um, worthy, noteworthy uh, dance design studio is. Yes, we've changed the. We've actually brought up the entire caliber of dance in in the Bergen County. We were one of the first studios that had suspended maple wood flooring to prevent injury. Um, we've had guest artists from Broadway, from Hollywood. Um, we've just been doing the right thing. And by doing the right thing, we're still here. <laughs> OK, and everybody appreciates and knows your company. I've always seen it uh, public, you know, in publications. Well, I hope so. Being around 30, 37 years altogether, I hope everybody knows us. I hope we are a part of everyone's history. And I know, I know for a fact that uh, we've touched the hearts of so many young people, and not so young people. And we've been a, a, family, a family word, family name in all the households in Bergen County. All right, well, thank you very much, and it's great seeing you here. Thank you.
was fabulous, fabulous. Pushing your reggae on those drums. Hi, good afternoon, Lisa, Councilwoman Lisa Swain. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? All right. How do you like this event today? I love it. It's great. It's really, it's a wonderful opportunity for people to come out and m meet some of the store owners, see some of the special events here between the music and all of the, the great things for pets. So it's great. Well, their uh, pets are soothing, they're comforting. Yes, yes, well, I have a cat, but he's at home. I couldn't bring him out today, he's an indoor cat. But I got some great stuff for my neighbor and his dog. Um, how many people do you think, uh, or businesses, I should say, that participated in this event? It seems like quite a few. Between Fairlawn Avenue and Verdan, this whole side of the street has activities going on all up and down. Yeah. And there's a fabulous, uh, a great uh, sounding band that we have performing here, I see. That's right, with some local talent from River Road. Uh, your uh, neighbors, with uh, they have their pet, their pet dogs. Um, have they been out here also? I don't know. I haven't seen my neighbor out here, but maybe he was here earlier. But there's so many people walking up and down with their pets, so it's it's great. And luckily, we have a gorgeous day. So I just think any time you can be outside, socializing is is wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate speaking to you. Anytime. Thank you.